right, what's up guys? It's Case Central here, and I'm back with some interesting Kingdom Hearts news for you guys today. Um, you know, it's, it, I don't really know how to feel about this. Um, you know, it's just very, very interesting, to say the least. I gotta talk about this in a video. How are you guys doing, by the way? It just seems weird to me, you know? It just seems really, really weird that they would do something like this. But... I should probably just get into the topic of this video and talk about that. So yeah, let's just get into it. Also, before we get into this, I just want to say that this guy is not exactly sure that this is this, you know, what we're going to be talking about in this. Um, you know, it's seeming likely that it is, but he just doesn't know. So I just want to say that before we get into this. So recently on Twitter, there's been a lot of people starting to hack in to Kingdom Hearts 3 itself, you know, start going to go into the game files, start messing around in there, I'm um, going out of bounds in the game, starting add start adding stuff into the game that you're not supposed to have necessarily in the game, which I think is pretty cool. I recommend you go check it out if you have the chance. And the main guy who is doing the stuff on Twitter, the guy who's posting the most stuff about this, is a guy with the Twitter handle key to truth at key to truth on Twitter. I'm not gonna even try to pronounce his Twitter name right there because that's a lot of stuff. It's Clavis something sorry you're not gonna even try to do that and again you know he's posting a lot of cool stuff on twitter so i recommend you go check out his stuff you know i'll leave a link to what you're going to be talking about in this video in the description go check out the rest of his stuff it's pretty cool but let's kind of focus on the main topic for this video so as we all know at this point there is no critical mode in kingdom hearts 3 it's just proud mode as of right now that's the highest difficulty you can have in the game which does seem kind of strange you know kingdom hearts 3 it's the biggest game of the series so far, so you think they put it in there. Yeah, I know they're kind of mainly put into final mixes of games, but it's Kingdom Hearts 3. Come on, you gotta put it in there. And a lot of people are complaining about the difficulty already, saying the games look too easy. So, you think they want to put Critical Mode in there to appease those people. Well, according to this tweet right here, there may actually be a Critical Mode inside of Kingdom Hearts 3. You just can't access it. It's hidden inside the game's code. Um, so, in this tweet right here, it says, So, KS3 does have a critical mode internally. Proud and critical mode comparison. And he shows two screenshots, kind of comparing the MP and HP bar of Sora at uh, Scala at Kylum. They both shows them in there, which is kind of the last part of the game, as we all know. So, it's kind of showing the comparison of where he would be at that point in the game. So, the first image shows Sora with kind of a full... HP bar and full MP bar, um, the kind of point you expect to be at that point in the game if you grind really hard and did everything and try to get Sora to the highest level, I guess. But the next image, if you look at the MP and HP bar right there, they are much, much lower than they should be in just, you know, the regular part of the game, which is kind of a standard for a critical mode in Kingdom Hearts. You know, you get a lot less MP gain, a lot less um, HP gain during the game. So this could be hinting that this is part of that mode. He then further elaborates on the next tweet right here where he says, I can't fully confirm it, but the mode makes it seem like you deal double damage, but you get double the damage from Proud. So, who knows? He also did explain in a tweet earlier today that he is trying to get the most out of the critical mode that he found from that save file. Again, it's not confirmed that it's critical mode, but it's seeming like it is. So he's going to try to get the most out of it that he can, and hopefully by next Monday, he's going to release a list of cheats that we can do in the game, and maybe we could actually start playing this critical mode. So, yeah. What the fuck, Square? What? What? This is this is just so strange to me. Why they wouldn't include this in here? I mean, it's again, it's not confirmed that this is a critical mode, but it's looking likely that it is. It shares a lot of characteristics of a critical mode. I don't know why they wouldn't just put it in the game and make it accessible. I mean, it's seemingly in there. It seems like they got to code it in there. It seems like they have it on the disc, but they just wouldn't unlock it. My best guess as to why they didn't include this in the final game and kept it hidden on the disc is because this this game's gonna be bought by a lot of normies i guess you could say you know people who are not necessarily familiar with the kingdom hearts series before this because there's a lot of hype going on with this game a lot of talk about it a lot of marketing going into it they're pushing it really hard if you couldn't tell so yeah it's a really popular game so a lot of people who are not necessarily familiar with the kingdom hearts series who haven't or haven't played one before are going to start with this game and if they included the critical mode in their it would just scare them away, I guess, you know, since it's so difficult. Maybe they were afraid of that, and so they cut it last second. Maybe that's what happened. I don't know. Um, but they, they always do this with the first versions of a Kingdom Hearts game. You know, Kingdom Hearts 1, Kingdom Hearts 2. They didn't have Critical Mode in it, and also Birth by Sleep as well. Um, so, but I just, I just don't know, man. I just don't know, because... They maybe they may they could have had like a big old warning saying like oh this is the hardest difficulty in the game or something like that made it more clear that this is a really hard mode they could have played it on any other one but I don't know man that's just my best theory right there this just seems really strange to me since it is Kingdom Hearts three it is kind of a game geared towards fans 
mostly but i guess that's why they're marketing really hard to the more general audience because they know the fans are going to buy it anyway so they need to market to somebody and they go for the general audience because they know they like disney and they know they like other kind of stuff like that so they'll eat it up and get more sales um so that that's maybe what's going on here but dang it i want a critical mode in kingdom hearts i want a critical mode i'm a kingdom hearts fan of course i would love a critical mode in a Kingdom Hearts game. That would be the dream. Maybe they're also saving it for a final mix. That could be a possibility too. That's what they generally do with this kind of stuff. But again, it's Kingdom Hearts 3. Come on, it's fan service the game pretty much. They gotta put a critical mode in there. It, it just seems really strange. But kind of thinking about it, the final mix theory wouldn't make sense because it's in the game itself. It's coded into the game proper. It seems like they planned it to have it in the base version of Kingdom Hearts 3 at some point, unless it's on disc DLC and they were saving it for later, which if that's the case, ooh, that's another can of worms right there that I don't want to open. And what makes it worse for them, um, in this case, is the fact that the biggest criticism this game is getting right now from like the hardcore fans um, is the fact that the game is too easy. You know, the game is not providing uh, much of a uh, difficult experience, not much of a challenge, and they're not satisfied with that, which is not a big deal to me. I'm not a big difficulty guy. As long as the game is fun and good, I'm fine, which the game is fun and good, so I'm okay with that, but a lot of people aren't happy about that. Pointing to the thing I said before, um, you know, I think they lowered the difficulty and removed the critical mode because of the normies that are going to be playing this game, and, you know, they just lowered it a bit to appeal more to them, which wouldn't appease the hardcore fan base, but it appeals more to a general audience, which gets more sales, so... I guess that's why they did that. But it still makes me mad that they would remove something like this, you know. Again, Kingdom Hearts 3 is fan service the game. They should put a critical mode in there, you know. If they don't, the general people don't want to play it in critical mode, they don't have to. I, I just wish, I just wish they would have done this. Um, again, it's not confirmed. This is, this is, in fact, critical mode. It is a critical mode-like thing. It's not confirmed yet, so still keep that in mind. But if this is that... Oh man, it makes me mad, and it's making a lot of other people mad too, if this is the case. So, hopefully, they'll be adding a critical mode in the game sooner rather than later. I'm like 99% sure they'll add it in at some point. It's Kingdom Hearts 3. They have to do something along those lines with it. Um, if not with a Final Mix version, you know, with a patch they'll release later on. Unlocking this mode that's on the game itself. Um, and adding some more stuff to make it more feature complete, I guess. So, again, hopefully sooner rather than later that we get an official version of critical mode for Kingdom Hearts 3 in the game. Um, again, that guy's gonna be releasing a list of cheats on Monday and a save file of the game with that kind of semi-critical mode unlocked on it. So you'll get to play it hopefully around that time. So whenever that happens, have a fun time. Speedrunners are gonna love that. So if you're a speedrunner, it's gonna be good for you, I guess. But that's all I want to talk about you guys in this video. Tell me down in the comments below your opinion on this right here. What do you think about this uh, semi-critical mode being excluded from Kingdom Hearts 3? Are you sad about it? Do you wish they would have included it in the final game? Um, and, you know, why do you think they didn't include this in the final game itself? Tell me down in the comments below your opinions and theories on that. Also, make sure to subscribe and like this video, because that would be really awesome if you did. This has been K Central, and I will see you guys later. Bye!